at the moment, uh, Burlock has created um, uh, human, human embryonic stem cells. Um, so they're not using the IPCS, the other type of uh, stem cells used in research. And uh, they've just completed a phase one. Um, uh, actually, the trial is not even completed entirely because the trial duration that involves uh, 12 patients is two years. But the primary endpoint was set out the one year mark uh, and it was a safety endpoint. And at the moment, we have data. They have been presented in conferences, in abstract form, posters. Uh, at the one-year mark, uh, where it's basically indicating that this is extremely safe, there are no major uh, events, uh, and the study will be ended when all subjects have reached uh, the two-year mark. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have data up to 18 months uh, for all the subjects, so the, the study will soon be submitted. Uh, but we already have data, as I said, in terms of safety, uh, but also in terms of uh, efficacy. The efficacy uh, of the implants were considered to be exploratory or secondary endpoints. Um, in this trial, uh, it's an open label trial, and actually we also need to emphasize that the dangers of uh, using this type of approaches in an open label fashion because Parkinson's patients are very sensitive to, to placebo, and even more so if you do a surgical intervention and even more so if you do an intervention with insertion of cells, because as I said already, people are very interested in this. So with all the caveats of an open label study, uh, what's interesting about this project is that there were two cohorts, a cohort with a low content of cells and a cohort with a high content of cells. So in a way, this can be used as a possible uh, ethical way to mitigate the placebo effect. Because uh, if you compare the two cohorts, you can clearly see that the cohort with the higher content in cells implanted is doing better than the first cohort. They have been shown to have increased on the on time without these kinesias. They have been shown to have reduced off time and also better off symptoms. So the, the Parkinson's uh, uh, itself seems to be less severe. Uh, and also, interestingly, uh, looking at fluorodopa pets, so we can measure the amount of dopamine produced at the striatal level. Uh, it can be seen that in the putamen of these people, uh, there's an increased production of uh, dopamine, uh, which is not seen at the codate level. The codate goes down in the meantime because of progression of the, of the disease. And this is because these cells are implanted in the so-called post-commissural putamen. So in the posterior part of the putamen, which is the one more involved in the motor control and in Parkinson's. Um, most trials, by the way, have used this approach. Uh, the trial that is starting in Cambridge and Lund instead is using both approach, pre- and post-commissural implants, but it's too early to see if there is a difference in this regard. So these cells in the back to the Blue Rock trial uh, seem to be um, uh, 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 be alive and working and producing dopamine, and this might result in clinical effects. Too early to say. Seems to be safe, at least in the short term. Obviously, uh, we need to look at uh, what uh, to expect for uh, for the um, uh, near the long term uh, effects. Um, but it's really an encouraging. Uh, uh, scenario. I should also say that these patients uh, were treated with uh, tacrolimus um, initially uh, for one year at least. And most of the trials done so far, with the exception of the autologous ones that I mentioned, need to use immunosuppressants of different types. And this doesn't come with uh, without problems. Actually, most of the side effects in the trial I already discussed are coming from the immunosuppressants. Tacrolimus can cause neurotoxicity, can cause tremor. So it's not an easy drug, even though people are only taking it for a year. Um, and that's something else that we learned through the Blue Rock trial. So Blue Rock is now launching a phase two study uh, where uh, there will be a sham control procedure. So some people will have a fake surgical intervention where nothing will be left in the brain uh, with a ratio of two to one. And uh, so two receiving the active uh, transplant and one receiving nothing, the sham surgery. The study duration is five years, so it's longer, it's bigger, more centers than just three. And uh, importantly, two years after, people who had received a sham surgery would be offered the opportunity to, to receive the real transplant. And obviously, we need to see and, and decide uh, over time if people will be accepting this opportunity or not. We'll see. So this is uh, about to start.